What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the CryptoLogic Podcast. This is CryptoLogic John. Uh, I have some major announcements. As you, if you guys are seeing this right now, you guys are in the right place. The podcast is back, and I'm not alone. We got a full-time guest. My good friend, Crypto Sage, is in the house. Let's go represent the DJ Titans hoodie. I need to get mine already. Send it, send yeah, it, send you gotta it. Get it bro. You but gotta this, get is, you. this is huge news for the channel. We got a full-time guest here back on the channel. We're going to be talking about crypto, life, uh, investing, so many new things, big topics around the world, and we're just going to have dope conversations, I think, uh, multiple times a week, and it's going to be fun, and I think I'm excited for you guys to consume this content. I want to, I want to take the time to introduce my good friend, the new co-host, the new additional host, co-host for the Crypto Logic Podcast, Crypto Sage. Let's go. Now I'm so happy to be here, John. It's been a long time um, that we've, you know, got on a podcast together. It's been a long time since I've seen you do a podcast. It's been a minute. What have you been up to? Where have you been at? It's been a minute, man. You know, I, it, I, I was trying, like, you know, at the beginning of the year, I was trying to dabble to do, you know, the podcast, my content, TikTok, you know, and then I got really into the NFT space last year, right? Um, and I try to juggle everything so obviously i was on the xrpl people on the podcast they know that's where i was mostly focusing my attention was building xrp family and from there it kind of catapulted into like other projects on the xrpl like that mean you help you know we created right we created x sabers then we did we helped build core apes club and then yep. we kind of like dominated the xrpl the xrp space and it was hard for me to 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 be a full time, you know, creator for full time creator, a Discord manager, uh, you know, handling all the questions and concerns and and and, and artistic ideas, creative ideas for the project. So I kind of put my content creation on the back burner, and you know, from there, that's why I kind of slowed down on the content. We tried you and I, we tried to do some here and there, but I think yeah. now. We're at a place where we can actually really commit. You know, we dabbled it. We're we're heavy in the Bitcoin space now. Uh, Bitcoin, yes, you guys. If you guys do not know, Bitcoin has NFTs and they're called ordinals. Obviously, we're going to be giving more details on what that is and how to you know navigate through that. But yes, Bitcoin has NFTs and on Bitcoin they're called ordinals. So it's really cool. Uh, it's just a different terminology, right? Like instead of minting, it's called inscription. So yep. we've been heavy building on Bitcoin. We just launched a project called Ape Runners that sold out. Uh, we have created a company called DJ Titans. Uh, we can probably get into that uh, a little bit more. But, um, you know, I, I've been heavily in the NFT side. I know Sage is there with me. You know, we're, we're, we, that's where we've been. But I, we want to bring that experience to you guys here, the listeners, and, and, and kind of help you guys. If you anyone who wants to get into the NFT space, you know, and then we're obviously going to be talking about crypto and things around the world and stuff like that. But what about yeah, you? We, Tell me from your perspective. Yeah. I, I I've been on the same journey as, as you, bro. I mean, I was I I know I put a, a a big pause on um you know, uh content creating on TikTok, right? I mean, I haven't really did podcasts like you, but on TikTok, it it you know I was yeah. doing that every single day, yeah. and then when we kind of went when I got connected with you and we started working on NFTs in the XRP space. You know, all our focus and time was just there, right? We were putting all our focus there. And I think, yeah, like you said, we made one of the, probably the biggest project on the XRPL, which was uh, Core Apes. We were part of that and we got to go to, uh, what was it? The Corium event, the Cornova, which was, yeah. yeah, Cornova, which was freaking amazing. What's and <laughs> With the, yeah, uh, scary at the same time. I, I'm somebody that doesn't travel. So getting to, to leave, uh, Florida and go somewhere else was was big for me, but it was exciting, man. I had a great time. It was a great experience. And after that event, we we just kind of got into Bitcoin because Bitcoin ordinals just took over and we started building over there. So it's been kind of like a nonstop kind of thing, like working, working every single day, trying to, you know, reach our goals and, and I think that's what's really what, what's happening here. That's why we've been so far away from um, content creating. But I told John, I had a conversation with him and I said, yo, 
We have to go back to our roots. We cannot just not talk about what's happening. There's so many people that don't even know about Bitcoin ordinals or like the, if Bitcoin even has NFTs, right? And they do. And yes. for me, I, I think they're doing it way better than Ethereum, Solana, the XRP space. I think Bitcoin is going to take over the NFT space very, very soon especially in the next bull market, right? So, I, I mean, what's your opinion on that? Do you think uh, ordinals are going to be as big as um, NFTs on Ethereum's blockchain? Yeah, they, I mean, the vo Bitcoin ordinals launched like around, uh, I think the first inscription was like in February of 2023, I think late January. And the mm -hmm. volume of Bitcoin was at a number that like progressively like, over the course of a few months, way more than what we've seen in any other blockchain, right? It surpassed Solana. It surpassed XRP like 10 times. It surpassed, yep. um, it, I think it passed Bitcoin here and there. A couple projects passed Bitcoin. But there's so much hype on Bitcoin ordinals um, that I, I in, in the bear market too, that I think that um, in the bull run, it's only going to get even crazier. Right. And people are yep. still learning about it. It's still such a new technology. It's so new that builders and all this stuff, they're they're still not really accustomed to the potential of what Bitcoin can do. Um, we caught on in the beginning and, yeah. and then it just kind of it just every day just kept going and going and going more hype, more hype. And you see orange everywhere. And I think it's it's like the true like restart of the empty space, like how Ethereum had their first bullish environment. Everyone was like in the NFTs going crazy for it. And then Solana had their wave. XRP never really had that, in my opinion. Like, it never really had that insane, crazy bullishness to it. It was kind of like a cult type of thing. Um, and I love XRP. But Bitcoin was like a fresh experience. And I'm like so happy to be a part of it in the early stages. I know you are too. And I was trying to look up um, the Bitcoin uh, like volume. But the thing about Bitcoin is that not only did it have um, NFTs ordinals, they had tokens too. Tokens yep. came out called BRC20 uh, tokens. So that was another hype thing that people gravitated towards. The Pepe memes, Pepe token. People went crazy over tokens and to people were becoming millionaires overnight and making six <laughs> figures in, within hours because there was so much hype. Uh, but yeah, I, what do you think about the tokens aspect of it and all that stuff and everything else? I, I mean, the tokens are diff are, are definitely something that just came out of left field. Uh, the BRC20 tokens, I mean, they were, yeah, like you said, they were making millionaires overnight. And it kind of reminded me of the last bull cycle when um, when Safe Moon came out, right? And people were just making a shit ton of money. I mean, I was that guy that made thousands and thousands of dollars on safe moon and i barely invested in you know into it i put like a hundred bucks and came out with probably like ten ten thousand dollars which was insane and that's kind of what's happening right now with brc20 tokens they're slowing down a bit but the, the thing is with brc20 tokens they work differently they don't work like normal meme coins right these work more like nfts right yeah. and i'm not i'm gonna be honest i'm not a big fan for that i don't like that right but people are going crazy for it, right? And that's that's the excitement that we're seeing right now when it comes to Bitcoin ordinals. And I think like Bitcoin um, in the last bull cycle kind of lost a lot of that excitement, right? And, and that excitement was on Ethereum. It was on Solana and other blockchains. But I feel like Bitcoin right now is, is taken over and it's taken back its, its crown. And I mean, it's always been king, but now it's taking the, the crown for everything, everything in crypto. Bitcoin can compete so, outside of just being the first crypto. It, it, it can kind of compete with NFTs and tokens now. Exactly. And the thing is this, right? Looking at Bitcoin right now today, Bitcoin is sitting at $30,000, right? And there's a lot of people thinking and saying, we are back in a bull market. What do you think, John? No, we're not. I don't think we're back in a bull market yet. No. Because why, 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 why don't you think we're in a bull market? Because it's at thirty thousand. But that's no, that's 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 something that that's normal. Like like for us to be back in a bull market, Bitcoin needs to be past its all time high of, and at least somewhere within the range of the all time high of sixty k, right, sixty nine k. 
I mean, yeah. that's when I think we're in a bull run. We've seen this before. Like, if a bull run for me is Bitcoin back at least over 55K, 50K, and we have a bullish sentiment, that, that's a bull run in my opinion. 30K, we've seen it, right? It's, that's, that's, it's probably going to trade here sideways for a while. Like, 30K to me is nothing, oh, my God, you know what I mean? It's nothing crazy yeah. to me. To me to feel like, oh, we're in a bull run where everyone's going to be talking, um, you know, because remember, a bull run experience is ads everywhere. Your grandma talking about crypto. 30K is not going to do that. It's not going to bring the people back that turned their, their, turned their attention away from Bitcoin back to Bitcoin. People are going to start paying attention to Bitcoin again when it gets past 50K, past 60K, past all time high again. That's when everyone's going to turn their attention back to crypto. And then that's when I think we're actually in a bull run. Because to me, a bull run isn't a bull run until it's people who aren't everyday investors or who are paying attention, yeah. if that makes sense. Right? No, exactly. We're, we're here. We're uh -huh. here. Regardless of the bull run, bear market, whatever, we're here. But the people who aren't here, when they come back, that's a bull run because now they're like, oh, wait, I got to pay attention. Wait, I got to make some money. But obviously, that we know how the game goes. By the time by the time they're coming in and Coinbase is number one on the app store, that's when we're selling. That's when we, we start selling. Oh, yeah, 100%. That's when we're making money. We, you're, not, you're not supposed to be buying that time. Let them buy, right? We got to be accumulating now. And when Coinbase and Uphold and all those apps are number one, top 10 in the app store, that is when we, that's a signal. All right, that's when we got to start selling because that's when, you know what I mean? Everything's going to be pumping. Yeah, that's going to be it. It's going to be too late by then. And I mean, that's why we're here right now talking about it. I mean, looking at Bitcoin at 30,000, a lot of people are probably wondering, like, why is Bitcoin even going up? And the main reason why Bitcoin is going up is because there is a lot of companies trying to get their ETFs, their Bitcoin ETFs approved. Now, we've seen something like this back in the last bull cycle, right? Where they were trying to get these ETFs approved and they got denied, right? So it, people, it, Bitcoin was going up. That's why Bitcoin hit its all-time high. I don't know if you remember. It was that ETF um, approval, right? It, it was like, is, is Bitcoin, is that ETF going to get approved? And it didn't get approved and Bitcoin went straight down. Now, I, I personally think People are getting excited. People think that it's it's only up from here. And I don't see that happening, man. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice look. Bitcoin at 30K. But I don't think these uh, ETFs are going to get approved right now, especially with all the shit that's happening in crypto. I mean, you got Binance, right? There's Binance is getting looked at by the SEC. If Binance collapses, what do you think is going to happen to the entire crypto market right now, right? I, I I I think me and you are the only people on TikTok or in the crypto space that is that is sticking to Bitcoin going down to twelve thousand dollars, and I'm sticking to that. Even though it's at thirty k and it looks nice, don't don't get confused, don't get swayed by the whales. Bitcoin can still easily go to twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> Bitcoin will think? go down. Bitcoin will go down faster than it can go up. That's that's hundred percent. It can always 100%. Bitcoin cryptos. All cryptos will always go down faster than it goes up. That's the yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. So it's not. It's a fifty percent drop, right? And we see that we see that a lot, right? If like more than fifty percent, like sixty percent or something. That's that's nothing um, for for crypto, right? It goes both ways. What must what goes up must come down. I do think that we're gonna see a bottom. Um, people are, are people are bullish right now, but it's not a bull run it's not a bull so we're not back in the bull cycle because the bull yeah, cycle I don't think is I don't think they have experienced or we have experienced max pain yet I don't think the FTX uh collapse was that max pain right that's gonna really send uh crypto crashing right now right I don't think that's what it is um but probably the probably Binance collapsing if Binance collapses and they have to sell everything, right? Shit. It could definitely send the, the crypto market spiraling down. And we could see Bitcoin at 12K. Easy. Now, I don't think Bitcoin's gonna go lower than twelve thousand dollars. I think I've seen people say, I mean, can it? Yes, but I don't think it's gonna go lower than uh uh twelve thousand dollars. I've seen predictions that are saying like four thousand dollars, and I'm like, nah, that's just way too low. But I just don't see the ETFs getting approved. That's with, with the way the market looks, I just don't see that happening, bro, at all, man. No, I agree.
You know, like it's just it, there's too much negativity right now in crypto. Um, I don't know if 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 you even know this, but Ada Solana, I believe it was Matic, and I love Matic, right? Got removed from Robinhood, yeah. and it sent those it sent those coins spiraling down. I mean, we didn't see we we saw Ada go all the way down to twenty four cents, which I made a post that I was buying. I told people, hey, if you're not buying right now, you're absolutely crazy. That is that is the time to buy when shit like that happens. And it and, and Ada took a fat dip. Even Maddox, <laughs> man. Maddox is at 54 cents. And I still think Maddox is a great buy right now. Was it Algorand also named in the thing too to as a security? Yes. I, basically, if it's not Bitcoin, they're all securities. Yeah. But Ethereum. <laughs> That was crazy. If it's not Bitcoin or ETH, they're they are all securities. Let's just put it that way, right? Um, they can all get targeted by the SEC. Anything could happen right now. That's why I'm not, I'm I'm staying patient. And I'm and I'm still investing into Bitcoin. I'm still, you know, into the Bitcoin market. There's a ton of things that Bitcoin is doing right now that people are gonna have a, a, a big surprise. When we enter the next bull cycle, yep. you know, I mean, I've I've been talking about uh, rare satoshis for yeah, for a while. Put them on. And I don't even think I I made a video on TikTok and no one no one believes that <laughs> rare satoshis are a thing. Everyone's saying rare satoshis are scams. It's not it's not real. But on our side, because me and you are in the Bitcoin ordinal side. We're seeing people purchase these these rare Satoshis for thousands of dollars. Yep. And these Satoshis are not even worth a penny. One Satoshi is not even worth a penny. Yep. That's how crazy it is. And people are making thousands of dollars selling these rare Satoshis. Like, what, what, what do you think about that, John? What do you think about what's happening right now with these rare Satoshis and how people don't even think they exist? Well, yeah, people don't believe until until it's too late. So these people don't aren't in the space like we are. They don't realize that oh, there's people actually you know actually looking and hunting for these and buying these, and they just they just they just hate and they're like oh well they don't understand it. they think that it's fake not real fugazi whatever just the same way they thought that they didn't understand why someone would spend a hundred dollars five hundred dollars six figures on a JPEG they didn't understand it that's just how that, that's just how the sentiment is. Like some people still don't understand why would I give you two hundred dollars for a JPEG, and I'm like it's not it's the culture it's the it's the it's the ass I don't know how to explain it like us doing ape runners and doing all these projects it's like you just know we see cool art we see cool things and you want to support the project you support the owners you support the community whatever it is it may be but if you don't if you're not in the space you just won't get it and the rare sats is a new thing. Not really new, but it's a new thing that you have to be a part of the culture to understand what it is. And people are hating on it because they don't understand. And then they're going to see a lot of people make money. And then they're going to try and jump on board. Yeah, 100%. They're going to see a ton of people make money off of it. Like I like I said, I made a video um, on TikTok telling people how to even go find these rare sats, right? Which we could go we could go check it out right now. Um, There's a website that you could go to real quick, right, John, if called? you want to pull it up. It's called Satting.io. Sat? Satting.io. S-A-T-I-N-G? Yes, sir. That's what it's called. And if you have an X-First wallet, if you have an X-First wallet, you could put your address in there, and it's going to tell you if you have rare Satoshis. So this is all you have to go to. This is the website right here, Satting.io. It's also Unisat. How do you do it to where it's uh, X first? Um, it's telling me I have thing. a Unisat wallet though. Oh, I have a Unisat wallet too. Definitely try to get a Unisat wallet. Well, I don't have any. There should be a way. I don't yeah. have any crypto on there though. Well, listen, if you're if you're watching this, if you're watching this right now, definitely get yourself a Unisat wallet. That's a wallet that you need. X first is a wallet that you need when you're when you're in this space. It's big, man. People are, you know, selling these these rare sats for thousands of dollars. And, you know, it's still at the point where no one's talking about it. Everyone thinks it's fake. Right. And 
I'm so, I'm sad to say that they're going to miss out on the wave because there's only a very limited. It's already Bitcoin's already a limited supply of Bitcoin out there, right? Now these rare sats are going to be even more limited because there's not a lot out there, man. Which is absolutely crazy, guys. I I mean, I'm 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 bullish on it, man. Everything that Bitcoin has going on right now, I'm bullish on it. And it and it kind of lets me know that in the next bull cycle, I, I'll say even though I'm saying Bitcoin's going to 12k, I could easily say that Bitcoin in the next bull cycle, and I could see it pass surpass a hundred thousand dollars easily, like nothing. So Yay. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. And I mean, we're in it right now. We're in it right now. So yeah, that'd be dope. I can see that, that too. Would. Once once the bull run comes back, I think. Like when the bull run comes back, I do think that Bitcoin will be six figures, a hundred thousand. Um, it already hit sixty nine. Um, it's gonna be even stronger this time around, I think. Um, it was like what three years ago, two years ago. When did Bitcoin hit sixty nine k? Two thousand one. Oh, twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah. yeah like almost, so, yeah, yeah. so by the time by the time it hits, I think it'll be like twenty twenty four. Uh, I do think that it'll be like it'll be like. Late 2024, early 2025 is the is the next uh, bull cycle. Yeah, because the halving is in 2024, I believe, too. Yeah. There's a new presidential in election, right? There's a new president, a new president, potentially. Um, So it's going to be fun. It's going to be very exciting to see uh, over the next, I'd say, six, like 12 months, 12 to 18 months. Yeah, um, 100%. 100%. It's <laughs> going to be hella fun. But that's what I'm saying. People need to realize that this is just another... Uh, realm that a lot of people are just kind of like ignoring um even though the volume is huge but realistically yeah. if you think about it if you take a step back the ordinal space it's not really new people it's people that are already in the game right it's people that are on solana ethereum xrp right it's not new people it's people that are already kind of in the space that saw something new come up and just traveled over there it's not like a brand new person that's like never been into crypto, never bought an NFT that's in the ordinals, right? There's a couple of those, obviously. But right now, ordinals is primarily dominated by people who are already existing on other blockchains. So just wait until the bull run, the bull cycle comes back around when there's new people coming in to flood it. So on top of what in crazy amount of volume that we've seen lately in the past few months... Just multiply that by like five, maybe even ten, when Bitcoin ordinals is everywhere to the average Joe. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be, and, and, and especially when the the next uh, Bitcoin Miami, these uh these big huge Bitcoin events, right? I mean, ordinals is just taking over right now like a storm, and like you said, man, next next bull cycle, it's gonna get absolutely crazy now. What I want to ask you, because I know you are like the XRP god, your your content is literally focused on, has, well, has been focused on XRP for a while. What's going on with XRP? Is the case ever going to end? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's crazy. I love Hold XRP. Um, and, and a part of me is like kind of like, I understand what a lot of the people that hate on XRP are feeling, even the XRP holders. Is that we've been, you know, it gets old after a while. Saying the same thing over and over and over. Case ending soon, guys. Case ending soon, guys. And and I'm at that point where it's like, man, I love XRP. I do my best to give news on it. But I'm not going to go crazy over every little bit of news anymore, right? The Hidman documents were revealed. Didn't do anything in the price. It pumped to 50 cents. But look. Still the same. It's back down again, 47 cents. So it's yeah. like, it's the same thing. And I used to be that guy that was like, every bit of news, oh my gosh, I mean, that news. And it's like, okay, it's fun and all. I kind of want to dabble into the, I want to make sure I broaden my horizon. I don't want to be just a one-trick pony. Um, the case is going to end, I think, at some point this this year. Um, it's going to make a lot of people money. Um, I think that you definitely do have to sell. The real peak of the token, the XRP token, is not going to be when the case ends. It's going to be in the bull cycle. So the, the goal, in my opinion, is for the case to end before the bull cycle. So we're going to see a huge pump before the bull run. But so many people are going to sell. It's going to it's gonna taper off. And then they'll probably trade around a dollar or so, $1.50, $2 maybe. 
But the the three dollars, four dollars, all time high, that's not gonna come until it's ex- relisted on all exchanges and there's a bull run. And now people are gonna buy in XRP. And the good thing for XRP, right, is that it's what it's been in the top ten for like what since 2017 or something for six yeah. years. Yeah. The competition. Look at the competition that it had to fight through, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, of course. But look, Solana, Luna, Avalanche. You know, polka dot. I had to fight a lot of these tokens, and look what happened. Solana's gone. I think Solana's done. It's Luna, <laughs> Luna, Luna's done. Right? Binance, Binance was a big factor. A big, a lot of the liquidity went to Binance. Binance has, has their legal issues. So when the bull cycle comes back, XRP has been in the top ten for such a long period of time that it's the, it's gonna be deemed the safe crypto, especially when the lawsuit's over. So in my opinion accumulating xrp right now until the bull cycle maybe even when the lawsuit ends take some profits but until the bull cycle you guys will be definitely be rewarded now will it be millionaires depends on how much you buy whatever um, it's not gonna hit 10 20 dollars whatever that's not my I, I think they'll hit maybe five bucks six bucks best case scenario we'll see but a lot of the liquidity that it had to compete with it's not there to compete against it anymore all those ones got knocked off Binance is even knocked off in my opinion right if you really take a step back and look at the top 10 think about it Dogecoin yeah. was always there for the liquidity um Solana Avalanche Luna right there's a lot of there was a lot of those tokens that were there Polygon even but there was a lot of tokens in the top 10 Solana's still there in the top 10 but Solana used to be a hundred dollars over a hundred dollars to be close to almost three hundred dollars yes and that's a lot and, of money that's a lot of liquidity luna yeah. terra luna was in the top 10 for a minute a hundred dollars right wasn't it yeah that's a lot of liquidity you got cardano cardano's that's what i'm saying xrp cardano ethereum bitcoin those four are gonna be mm-hmm. kind of like blue chips people are, when the bull run comes back people are all the gurus everyone's like oh invest in the xrp everyone oh actually cardano they've been in the top 10s you know, consistently for the past, you know, yeah, five years plus. Yeah, like the safest assets. Yes, um, and that's where I think a lot of that volume is going to go. Prior to, you know, the previous bull run, there was too much competition for XRP to take off on top of the lawsuit, right? A lot of people were into these, um, you know, Solana, Avalanche, you know what I mean? So I think that XRP has that going for it. Once again, Just imagine, it's back on Coinbase. It's back on Robinhood. XRP was on Robinhood. Back on Robinhood. Yeah. It's on Uphold. You know, back on all these exchanges, no problem. You could buy it easily around the, all around the world, no problem. Like it's just gonna skyrocket. It, exactly, because yeah. once the once it, the settlement ends, everyone is gonna start onboarding XRP. And it's until fast. I will use XRP I, to switch for Bitcoin, Ethereum. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Pay me an XRP. I'll get it within you know two minutes. We we've been doing Bitcoin for like the past. You know, a couple months now, two, three months. It takes like 30 minutes, an hour. It's, you know firsthand. It, 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 you know firsthand. It, I was like, hey, say, I sent you the money. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. An hour it later. Take, <laughs> it takes long. It takes freaking forever, you know, and that's why, you know, there are better options like XRP, XLM. Yes. Um, That's one of the reasons why I love XRP, too, and, and I'm fast. still. Get your money fast. Yeah, I'm not, and, and, and I'm not a bag holder. I'm not an XRP bag holder. I know a lot of the P, and, and so, sorry, I don't want to get bashed <laughs> by all the XRP people, but let let's be honest, right? A lot of the a lot of the people in the community are bag holders, right? Are 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 XRP bag holders, and I'm not an XRP bag holder, but I see the potential that XRP has, and once the case is over, I mean, it, it's it's gonna explode. It's going to it's going to explode. Every exchange is going to onboard XRP and you're not going to hear the end of all the XRP maxis on TikTok, how they were right. They told you so. And I can see it. I can see it ending this year. Like you said, I think you're right. I think it's definitely going to end this year. And XR, the XRP community is going to get their shine that they've been looking for for a long time. Yep. It's coming. What'd you say? We got two minutes left, John. Yeah. I, hey, I gotta upgrade the Zoom. I had it upgraded, but nah, I'm gonna, you, I'm oh, gonna we'll up, upgrade it. We'll upgrade I'm, it. I'm upgrading it because we didn't do the podcast, so I was just paying for like what seven months for it. 
but, but it, and I'm like, now nah, I got to get it back. But, you know, we got like a minute left. You know, this is a great first episode. I'm a little rusty. I know Sage is probably a little rusty. I'm super rusty 100%. compared to my flow. But I, I hope, the, I hope the, the viewers and listeners, you guys get used to this. We're going to be talking about crypto. We're going to be talking about news around the world, around the crypto space. Uh, we're going to have much more content just kind of loaded up and kind of like organized so you guys can follow along with us and we can talk about it. It's going to be a fun show. I think it's going to be a fun ride. This is episode one of the new journey that we're doing. Uh, we might do a little bit of rebrand. We're going to figure that out, you know, see how, what happens there. But, uh, you know, hey, Crypto Sage. Hey, th- I'm excited. <laughs> this is just the beginning of some cool stuff that we're doing. Obviously, we're heavy in the NFT space, the Ordinal space. We're going to be back uh, making content on crypto every day. But, uh, Sage, you got any closing remarks? Probably got like 20 seconds. Uh, nah, man, I'm just excited to be here. I'm excited to be doing this with you, man. We've We've been on a journey for like a couple months now. And it's been absolutely amazing. So I just really want to continue this journey. Let's fucking go, bro. Hey, <laughs> we're we, we not stopping. You guys, make sure to subscribe. Share this with a friend. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Peace. Here it goes a little yeah.